Hi there. My name's Don Juan. I hate playing against Nasus. I've been playing top lane ever since I started playing League, and still to this day, I still fucking hate playing against the Nasus main. I mean, if you if you just describe Nasus to another player, he just he just sounds OP, doesn't he? Here's a champion that can theoretically one-shot anyone, who builds tank and yet still does damage like a carry, who has a 5 second slow that feels like a 5 second stun to an AD carry. He has a ton of life steal, so most good trades you get, he just steals it back up. I, I was getting fed up of Nasus. I, I hated playing against Nasus. I would even play champions that would directly counter Nasus, like Vlad or Rumble. But I just I just could not stop Nasus. So I decided that in order to beat Nasus, I would have to study from really good Nasus players. So I went on OP.GG and I looked for challenger Nasus players. I found this very interesting. I was looking for challenger Nasus players, but there weren't any. There weren't any across any major region. In fact, the highest Nasus main in Korea is only Diamond 2. Which led me to the conclusion of, then maybe Nasus isn't that bad. Nasus probably has a lot of weak points because, I mean, he can't even get into Master Tier for fuck's sake. So, I'm going to tell you all the strategies that people use against Nasus, all the ones that don't work and some of the ones that can work, and the one that works pretty much all the time. But before I begin, we're going to assume a few things on Nasus. One, the Nasus player can actually farm. And two, the Nasus player actually knows how to play passive. Nasus is called Susan for a reason, okay? Nasus is a dog, and Susan is a female. So Nasus is a bitch. And when you're playing Nasus, early game, you play him like a bitch. You lose pretty much every single matchup early game. Even a Cassidan does more early game damage than an early game bitch. Susan is a bitch, so you gotta play Susan like a bitch. So we are assuming that the player you're playing against is a bitch. So what are some of the most common strategies against bitches? The first one that some people like to do is push the lane to tower. Some people think, oh, if, if I push the lane to the tower, he'll miss creeps because the tower will kill the creeps and he won't be able to stack his Q as efficiently. This is by far the worst strategy against Nasus. First off, Nasus's Q early game is terrible. It does almost no extra damage. It has a very long cooldown. The only way you can stack it efficiently is if you have max points and you've bought in a few CDR items. Early game, it doesn't really matter if Nasus misses a few stacks. He's still getting CS, which means he can still get the CDR items that he needs to stack his Q faster for later. Bitches love it when you give them free money. That is the worst strategy against the Nasus. The second strategy, which is a lot more effective, is freezing the wave near your tower so your jungler can gank. If you can freeze the wave at a proper position just outside of your tower range, you can make Nasus afraid to just walk up to the minion wave. Now this strategy will work some of the time, but not all of the time. This strategy will only really work if your jungler is willing to actually gank top lane. Most junglers will do one of three things with top laners. Either camp top lane, go top once, or never go top at all. Why would a jungler want to stick around top lane? That makes no sense. Why wouldn't he go mid lane where people actually do damage? Or why wouldn't he go bot lane where he could affect four people and potentially get dragon? The only real time that a jungler likes to camp a top laner is if he thinks that he can kill the top laner over and over and over again. Basically, the relationship between junglers and top laners is the same as American politicians and American citizens. They only help out if they think they can get money themselves. The third strategy is pick a lane bully. Nasus's early game is already pretty bad, and if you pick a champion with a really strong early game, you can give him a really hard time. Some examples would be Pantheon, Riven, Rumble, champions that want to kill Nasus early and then snowball a lead. Now, let me tell you something. I main Rumble, and I've played a lot of Rumble, and I have played the Nasus Rumble matchup a lot. I usually get first blood, I usually get a CS lead, but I also usually cannot duel him once he gets his first item. A Nasus usually will either build Spirit Visage or Frozen Heart. 
Once Nasus gets that first item, he becomes so tanky that your damage really doesn't affect him. Unless you have like a like a 5 kill lead or something, you still won't really be able to duel Nasus. A big weakness to this strategy is early game, if you're trying to harass a Nasus, you will still naturally push the wave. In order to harass someone, you have to use your abilities or you have to auto attack them. Both can cause minion waves to push. So if Susan plays safe, the bitch can get more free money. So how do I beat Nasus? What is the surefire way of beating Nasus? Think for a second what Nasus is. Pre-level 6, he is a worthless little bitch who just wants farm. Post-level 9 or so, he basically becomes this huge steroided monster with a boner for 1v1s. So how do we beat someone who is bigger than us? How do we beat someone who is stronger than us? How do I beat Nasus? You have to murder his family. You have to kill his loved one. You have to brutally murder his wife and children. <laughs> if you camp their bot lane hard enough, eventually they'll start losing faith in Nasus. Why didn't you help us? What are you doing? Why are you still there? You're supposed to protect us. We need your help. But he can't help because he's a fat steroided monster and he's slow. If you can't kill his wife and child, kill his father. Whatever you do, you do not go and try to kill the Nasus. He wants you to 1v1 him. He wants a fight. He's begging for it. Even if you get jungler assistance, past a certain point, Nasus will be able to 1v2 you guys easily. Very easily. Once it hits late game and your bot laners are miles ahead, bot laners are extremely good at kiting champions out. And that's exactly what Nasus is afraid of. It doesn't matter if he has a thousand stacks. If he can't get to you, he can't use those stacks. Simple! So remember kids, when you're fighting someone bigger than you, don't fight them head on. Murder their family. That's how you beat Nasus.